Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally updating you guys on my year-long project pan. Um, I haven't forgotten about this project, but it has been put way, 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 way on the back burner. Um, just because the last time I updated you guys was like in the middle of my last semester and now that I'm done, um, I can finally sit back down and, you know, prioritize this. And there is a couple of changes in regards to the products that I'm deciding to use up and also a little bit more of the methods that I had initially approached it towards the beginning of the year versus now based where we're at, like, worldwide. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna start getting into the products and you guys are gonna notice some changes. Maybe you forgot about them because it's been a couple months since I updated you guys. <laughs> It's exciting stuff, you know? So I did manage to finish some products. The first product I ended up finishing was my Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Um, you know, I bought this before it was taboo to use Mario Badescu. I did receive a small, like, little free birthday gift from Ulta, which, by the way, I always feel like March gets screwed over when it comes to Ulta rewards for their birthday gift or whatever. So I do have a tiny bit, but that one I just keep in my bag just in case if I feel too powdery and I need a quick like refresher, but I won't be repurchasing the Mario Badescu facial spray. However, I am replacing it with another facial spray and this is the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water. I don't know if just like all rose water is bad, I mean, I don't think many people have come out to say that this one's bad either. But again, I use it for the same purpose. If I feel like my makeup is a little bit too powdery when I finish, or if I touch up and it feels too powdery, that's what I use this for. I also sometimes spray the dogs when I'm just pushing another day before they get their bath. Um, and I have both of my dogs right here. And usually they react to that word, but they're not one of them is giving me like eyes and she keeps looking at me because I keep looking at her but she there's no panic in her eye yet so she knows she's not getting one so I'm about to wear this black line is here and my goal is to finish this up as soon as possible I have a lot of visual and physical clutter just around my life as I'm going through things and like deciding okay what has to go what can I actually finish up um, because there's changes coming. I'm sure I have talked your ears off about these changes, but that's basically what I'm doing. So I do want to finish it before those changes happen. Um, so we're back on the roll in regards to using this. The other item I ended up finishing up is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent, not translucent, <laughs> loose setting powder. Um, I put it in when it was about halfway full. Last time you guys saw it, it was at that second line um, towards the bottom and now I've it's gone and honestly this is not a product that I'm interested in trying out again it was nice ish but it was very finicky um, so I'm glad um, I finished it a while ago like I hadn't forgotten that I used it up but I had forgotten like kind of what it did until I looked at it sit down and decided to talk about it got distracted by the dogs <laughs> and now you might get distracted by the dogs but I am going to briefly ah! so I will be replacing the powder with another powder um, I only have one loose setting powder left but I do like that one and I don't want to like specifically use it up so I am including a pressed powder this time this is the Maybelline fit me powder and I actually just hit pan on it in this morning and this works with one of the products that I'm swapping out that you guys will see in just a minute this is the only powder that really sits nicely over that everything else just looks very cakey and powdery um, so I'm just gonna combine those two together kind of full force trying to use it up and it is kind of what I go kind of use like every day nothing special um, if I wanted to look nice I wouldn't use the other item but I do love the Maybelline Fit Me powder I've been using this for years and years and years and it's great for dry skin in my opinion so might as well talk about um, the next item that I adding in and what I'm swapping it out for I need this doggy to stop wanting to be pet lay down lay down 
lie down. So I'm going to be swapping out the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I'm just not using it. I don't like it. It's nothing what I thought it was going to be and being in Arizona just makes it more unpleasant to use. So I'm just going to toss this. Um, I can't pass it on to anyone because no one I know is like this color. Um, and I'm just not going to use it. I'd rather use the other things that I have and be happy than like use this and be miserable about my makeup the whole day. And it does not still sit well underneath like the masks. So I'm just going to call this quit. I tried my best. I tried using it and that, you know, at some point if like it's torture, life's too short. So you just got to call it quits. But I will be replacing it with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I bought this because of Judy. Um, she said this is one of her favorites and I have to say I do like it when I'm just wearing it by itself It just gives you like that little like fresh glow and it just makes your skin tone look better But I don't like it with other products on top of it. I found that most powders does not look good Over this except for the Maybelline fit me powder and that's if I use a very very light hand um, so I kind of just wear this to work every day, you know, nothing special, but I want a little bit of coverage to make up for the eyeshadow. I love doing my eyeshadow, so I feel like I do need a little bit of everything else to make it look like complete. So yeah, that's what I've just been using, but I use other things if I want to look nicer or not. It's nice because it's um, cost effective and it does add a little bit of moisture, which I already said I have dry skin. I'm living in Arizona, so those are all just like working against me. Um, it does pick up on little dry patches if I have it really bad dry patches, but it only becomes super obvious if I put more makeup on top of this. But if I just like am hanging out, but you know, in and out of the house, just doing very like basic grocery store, just going to the gas station or, you know, this looks just like slap it on and it's nice and supposedly like, you know, it's a moisturizer, it's just tinted, so... Yeah, I do kind of want to work on use this up because I have found something I like a little bit more that kind of gives the same results but actually works better. Um, so that's why I'm including it here. I'm not a big primer girl, but I've been sitting on these little deluxe samples for a couple years now and I'm just like, okay, let's just try to use them up. They both seem like more appropriate in the summertime anyways. So I have two deluxe size samples. One is the Too Faced Prime and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin perfecting primer like I said I'm not gonna have problems with like oily skin but I do plan on being out in California now that I'm done with everything for a little bit longer and it can get a little hot and humid not like humid like humid humid but because it's like right by the ocean and you know they are gonna be warmer days it might be more convenient to use that there I can't really use this here in Arizona because like I said um, I'm already dry and if anything it's gonna be sweat that I feel not oil and at that point there's not much you can do but I also have the Beauty Blender Opal Essence Serum Primer I've used it a couple of times but I've never like seen like what it actually does so I might as well just try it out use it up this is probably gonna get used first before this one but I do have like a trip coming up in like two weeks and it's a two week trip so maybe these will both be done by the next update that is my plan i just don't want like i said i hate i hate like little things just like cluttering up everything especially if it's not like something i use every day so i'm including these in this project this you guys have seen this is the rare beauty concealer i have used quite a bit since the last time i updated you guys um, this has been laying down, so the product looks a little bit uneven compared to where I have it lined. But because I've been a little bit absent in this project, there's a big line jump from when I last was to where I am now. Using my pinky to show you the difference. Um, and ever since I reintroduced an eye cream, like a heavy eye cream, back into my routine, I'm not having like that issue where it just looks crepey and I had to use like oil to not make it look as bad. Um, I've also kind of switched up my skincare routine, so that also might help in regards to like the dry patches. Um, but I don't really like this. At least I'm almost or am halfway done and I'm just trying to use it up. I also use it like as a regular concealer. I feel like it does make me look really pale because it's more like a brightening concealer. Um, but I am also really pale. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, I'm still working towards this. This is still included. Just giving you an update where this is now. My Anastasia uh, 
Dip Brow Pomade. Still going strong, still using it. Um, it's I pushed it all to the side, but it's not as like full up to the top anymore. If anything, instead of working it from the side down, I'm working it from the top to bottom, or like not side to side, but top to bottom. So that's where I see a lot of the progress. It's still quite creamy for as long as I've had it. And I personally really like it in my little scar area that I have. Although I'm not using it today, I used a brow pencil and I think I like that more just because it's a lot lighter of an application. I do have to have a very light hand when using this or I'll be like, boom, thick brow and then the other brow is like completely different. But I don't know. Maybe I might just stick with brow pencils to fill that in because I do feel like it looks a lot better in my opinion. But still using this, it'll be great for the summertime because again, we're going to be sweaty and I don't want my... <laughs> I, I don't love the scar because I feel like it just makes everything look so different but um, all I can do for now is cover it up. But speaking of Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm no longer using this soft glam palette. If you saw my makeup declutter, I passed that on to my mom. I was just sick and tired of using it. I felt like it was the same eyeshadow colors over and over and over again and I have other palettes that are new that kind of have the same color scheme and more colors so I decided to pass that on to my mom who is always nude in fresher eyeshadows she just keeps her eyeshadows around for a very long time so I was just like here have it um, but instead I am going to be replacing it with my this eyeshadow palette the one where you can like put a lot of stuff these are actually my oldest eyeshadows that I still have quite a bit on so I just want to focus on a lot of them and just kind of use them up like for example this Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek is almost done and everything else is just a lot older so I kind of just want to focus on this before like the quality really goes bad because these were pricey eyeshadows like I have Inglot, Inglot I have Viseart and then like I said I have Makeup Geek um, that I just haven't decided to part with what was left so I just kind of want to focus on using these, especially because they're different like themes. So like I have my browns, I kind of my neutrals, I have different type of sparkly ones, and then I have some purple. So a lot more vi variety than um, the soft glam palette. So I am including this instead, and we'll just see how the progress goes. I'm still working on my YSL Black Opium perfume, except now I'm down to you know you can see the progress on the little. P. Cole and there's the other dog. <laughs> um, I just perfume is just really strong and I think that's why it's taken me so long to use. I'm also using up some perfumes in my body care project pan. Um, so you know I have to I have to create a happy balance, but I do want to finish this up because again it's just another small thing that's really easy to use up and that makes a difference to not see all like, these little cluttered things. Don't know if I can finish this in a month, but again, hopefully before these big changes happen because who wants to like have a 50 billion of like little tiny things? No one wants that. It just makes it harder when it comes to moving. Last but not least, I do have a couple of lip items. I am not a big lip item person and I haven't included any because, you know, we've been wearing masks, but as things are starting to lift, um, especially as more and more people get vaccinated and cases are down for now, um, a lot of places don't necessarily require masks anymore. Some places do, but you don't have to wear them outside anymore. Um, just like walking from place to place so I am gonna include a little bit of lip products easy ones not like lipsticks but more like lip balmy type of things just to like dip my toes back into like the lip world and see how well I do that I know I can't do lipsticks because I do like to wear things sheer to begin with so I decided to start with these so little ones again back to my theme of like getting rid of little stuff I have two fresh sugar lip balms one is in spice that is like super pigmented so this one I kind of just put all over when I need lip balm but you know not going anywhere because lip balms bleed and this is super pigmented but you know I do have a good nub left so hopefully I can finish that I also have honey which is a much more subdued and pretty one I have a little bit more of that one because that one I would want to save for like when I'm going out and eating with friends or people that I know and just need a little bit of lip balm because I don't really wear lip products when I have it on like the mask on I definitely put some on when I take it off and I think this is like a nice subdued hue um, that looks you know a 
appropriate with everything and it's not too much and I could just put it on like this and not have to look in a mirror like I would with this because it's so pigmented especially for me and then last but not least I have the ColourPop just a tint tinted lip something and this is in the color the strand this one I have quite a bit left but this is also just a little I can put it on without having to think about it and it just slightly enhances the color of my lips that's how much product I have I will be taking more note of this one but this one just smells like grapefruit to me and this is my only color pop just a tint do they all smell like grapefruit because I don't like the smell but I also when I first bought this I accidentally accidentally left this in my car for like two months and so I don't know if like the like the heat of the car had anything to do with the change because I feel like when I first bought it it wasn't as strong as it is now and I'm not a fan of the scent but I'll still use it because I only use a little bit so I don't smell it that much but every time I open it and get close I get like that whip of artificial grapefruit so let me know if like the other ones smell like this because I'm kind of interested in purchasing other colors but I won't do it if they all smell like this but I also have a feeling they might get discontinued because the last time I was in an Ulta they were all clearanced out and they were completely sold out so I don't know but that is my update, my long-awaited update on my year-long project pan where I'm constantly just working on moving out things from my makeup collection. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I know a big portion of you guys aren't necessarily subscribed to my channel, but you guys always tune in, so might as well hit that subscribe button and the like button to help me out. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!